Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn. This is the Stamp Timber Limited Edition Exclusive Nutty or Nice stamp set. This is my second of the two projects I created with this amazing stamp set today. This is an interactive double slider surprise. I am going to start by putting together the double slider surprise and then we will decorate it with these adorable nutty or nice images. So I have got my panels for the sliders, I've got my track, I've got the um, envelope pieces, but I die cut an extra envelope piece so that it's exactly the same size. And from this, I am going to go ahead and die cut a stitched hillside border so that I have a snowy border for that front part of the double slider surprise. I've also die cut an extra of the slider itself or that goes on both sides sorry and what I'm gonna do is die cut from one of those because you only need two I die cut three from that third one we're gonna die cut the stitched hillside borders as well because this is going to provide that snowy border for the pullouts on the double slider surprise. So we're gonna do that on both sides. I did all of this before assembling my double slider. Now I've got already have a couple of videos with my double slider surprise, and I have to tell you, this is the third one I've made, and they get easier with each one you create. It seems a little intimidating, I think, right off the bat, but once you start creating them, it really does get easy. And if you're using leftover packaging from your stamps or your dies or whatever, I can't tell you enough how much of a huge help that's been for me. It's a great way to use up that packaging and I think it works really great for the track. Instead of using colorful cardstock or pattern paper, I'm actually going to ink my panels for my double slider surprise and I'm using Blueprint Sketch Distress ink here to color in my front panel. I did die cut the front panel from Bristol Smooth cardstock, the back panels from just regular Nina Smooth white cardstock. That panel is going to be adhered directly to the card base, so I didn't worry quite as much about that cardstock being able to be inked easily since I'm not inking it up. Then both inserts that are going to be pulled out I'm gonna go ahead and ink these with Blueprint Sketch Distress Ink as well. When I have all three inked, I will take a Distress Sprayer and spritz water over the panels and blot it dry with a paper towel. This is immediately going to give the illusion of falling snow. Just need to finish inking up this panel. And I'm using a scrap piece of paper to keep my fingers out of that ink. So here are my three panels. We'll just take a little water. We're gonna spritz these. You can immediately see the ink start to react with that water. It starts to wick away. Just blot this dry, lift up, and look at those awesome snowy backgrounds. So, so pretty gonna clean up my work surface and then we will work on the track and putting together all of our little pieces here for our double slider surprise. So all of those snowy borders that I just die cut, we're going to adhere to the pullouts and to the front of the pocket. I'm using a nice strong adhesive. This is building that little expanding scene that we're going to be creating with the double slider surprise. Here is the track piece. Here is a clear piece of packaging I've trimmed to two and a quarter inches. I'm gonna take a little score tape, put it at one end, wrap the packaging around, and it really does help if you do not pull whatever you use to wrap around the track very tight. Make sure it has a little bit of give and that it's nice and you don't want it to be super loose, but you want it to move easily like you just saw me move there. I moved the seam over to the left-hand side. I'm placing 
a piece of score tape on the front, turning it over and on the diagonal, putting it on the other side, and we're going to attach our pullouts. With the pullout that pulls to the right, we want to line that up with the right side of the track, and it's adhered over on the left side. So we're lining it up with the right side, adhering it on the left. We're going to flip it over, pull our score tape off of the back, and this time we want to line it up with the left side, but it is adhered on the right. And when you pull it, look how easily those move. So, so cute. Let's go ahead and put our pocket together that holds our track. We've got the front and then, of course, the back here that doesn't have anything on it. We're going to remove our score tape that we've put on our track piece at the top and the bottom just off of the back of the track and stick it into our pocket. Line that up. Then we can remove the score tape on the front and press down here to secure everything. Now you might have noticed I forgot to add my tabs you can use the little die cut to create those little areas that make it easier to pull out your tabs. I forgot when I put it together, I very, very carefully unassembled it with some undo adhesive remover, and I did die cut those tabs simply because it makes it a lot easier to pull that out. So if you're wondering why you're not seeing that here, that's what happened. I guess I was so eager to play with the stamp timber nutty or nice stamp set that I completely forgot. Now we're ready to see all of our components, what we want to use for our card. This is the most adorable stamp set. It has this little snowman that you can stamp with the nose or without. And what I love about that is that you can make the snowman complete and go ahead and add the carrot nose or you can make it look like the squirrels are building the snowman and holding that carrot nose which is what i'm going to do before i get too far into building and stamping the critters and everything i better stamp my sentiment because i want it stamped along the snowy border i'm using a combination of forget me not and moonstone inks these inks are fantastic, even though they're that bluish tint. Um, I think they have enough of a purple to them that they go really well with the Blueprint Sketch Distress ink. It is one of my favorites to use. It's kind of a purpley blue, and I think these inks complement it really nice. So I've done two lines of text. The first line is Nutty or Nice question mark in the Forget Me Not ink, and then the rest of the sentiment is stamped with the Moonstone ink. We're going to take the snowmen, the ornaments, the squirrels, all of the things, and we are going to stamp them and add those to our scene. One of the great things about Lawn Fawn is that the stamps from the collection all mix and match and work with one another. For example, this is the pull here or from the push here stamp set. And I'm gonna do pull here on the tabs that come with the double slider surprise. And I stamped those with Moonstone ink and then went ahead and added those to both ends of my double slider surprise. But the great, what I was mentioning is, mentioning is that you can use other critters from your Lawn Fawn collection with this exclusive limited edition stamp timber stamp set. And I love that. So if you have other sets with squirrels, for example, I know Pick of the Patch that just came out. It would be adorable to incorporate more squirrels from that into this card design. I have stamped my images on Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm coloring everything in with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. The colors I'm using for each area or each image are shown somewhere on the screen. I did all the squirrels first. Then I worked on the snowman, and then I will finish off with my accessories. There are ornaments. There's acorns wrapped with a ribbon. There are stockings. There are little um, dotted lines that work to hang your ornaments. 
there is a tree branch. I'm not using the tree branch on this card, but if you check out my blog post, there is another video um, over on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel and blog where I show using that tree branch in a different style of card. There are also some little berries and little leaves that are solid images. The tree branch is a solid image as well. We are going to use the berries and the leaves and I will be stamping those here in a little bit and we're gonna add those as embellishment to some of the hanging ornaments and also to the snowman's hat. I did my ornaments all in kind of bright, fun colors and I think I ended up stamping and coloring a few more than what I actually am going to need for my card. But I always like to have plenty. I'm gonna be hanging the ornaments across the top edge of the double slider surprise. I think that'll be a really fun look. And then we're gonna have our squirrels all either running or sitting along the snowy border and building that cute little snowman. There's also gonna be some little wrapped up acorns because these little squirrels, of course, want the best gift that they could ever wish for, and that would be these acorns. I'm using some pinks and reds and bluish purples and aqua turquoise, um, kind of non-traditional limey greens instead of green green, just for a little bit of a bright and fun style of card. Now I'm going to tape my dies in place and die cut as many of these images with one pass of the machine as possible. And I'm simply gonna keep running this through until I get everything die cut. And there are quite a few images here. You can see we have all these ornaments. We have the little hanging strings that we're using to hang our ornaments. We have multiple acorns, we have multiple stockings, so lots and lots of die cutting here. That's why I try to die cut as many images with one pass as possible. I use post-it tape to hold those in place so I can die cut everything very easily and don't have to worry about them shifting in my die cutting machine. And I like to have everything ready to go before I start assembling. Looks like we have another acorn left, plus we have a couple more ornaments it looks like that I maybe need to color. So let's add a little color to these and then get these die cut as well. Aqua and green ended up being one of my very favorite ornaments for this card. I like those colors together a lot. even did a little stocking with those two colors. I didn't use any water with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers today. The images are really small and I really felt like it might, it works easier for me for this kind of a card. Um, to just color them with the markers rather than trying to watercolor with the markers, if that makes sense. So let's start with our front panel of the double slider surprise. We've got a snowman, we've got the squirrel with the Santa hat, and we've got the squirrel with the scarf. And then we have some hanging ornaments and the little strings that they're hanging from. They do hang off the edge of the card. Once I have everything adhered and the glue has completely dried, we'll go back with some scissors and trim off anything hanging off the edge. But I like to wait till the glue is completely dry so it doesn't shift when I take my scissors and try to trim that off. We're gonna do a combination of ornaments and hanging stockings. And I'm using acrylic blocks to hold those down in place until the glue is completely dry. I'm also using tweezers to help place some of those teeny tiny little things. Gives me a lot more precision to place things on my card. So now we're working on the left-hand side. 
adding all those hanging ornaments. And just trying to get those little strings as straight as possible. And on that final panel, we'll have another squirrel. And then those few remaining ornaments. I just love the little scarves around their necks. They are so much fun. These create the cutest little cards. Another fantastic stamp timber stamp set from Lawn Fawn. This is always one of the most popular ones of the month and I'm just really excited about it. I hope you guys love it too. And we don't want to forget those little acorns. So now is a good time. I'm trying to decide what finishing, if I want to add any additional ornaments, if I'm going to add the acorns, this is the time to start adding in any of those little finishing details. Take a black glaze pin to the eyes, to the buttons on the snowman, all those little things. There's the little carrot nose that the squirrel is using to assemble the snowman. And of course, over here, just finishing off the hanging ornaments. You could definitely add additional stamped greetings to these slider pullouts if you want to. Some of my cards that I have shared previously have done that. I'm using the double slider surprise. Today, it's just the scene extending. Now, once that glue is dry, you are going to want to trim off any of that excess. For one thing, your sliders are not going to go inside if you leave those long. So you definitely want to do that. Now, I also took some Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard and added some sparkle to all of my hanging ornaments and stockings. So this is going to require some dry time. And I really let this dry. I think I let it dry overnight, actually. You probably don't have to let it dry quite that long. But you want to make sure it's completely dry before you try to slide these in or you're going to create a mess. So I pulled them all the way out. I added the Nouveau Crystal Drops and then I let it dry. And I also decided my snowman needed a little heart, so I stamped that on his chest and colored that in as well. And that's a fun little addition to my snowman. Now we're going to stamp the little berries and the leaves. I'm using Lawn Fawn Lobster and Lawn Fawn Cilantro inks. And we're just going to stamp a whole bunch of these and then die cut them. There is a group of double leaves. There's also a single leaf. I can't remember if I used that here or not. Looks like I did stamp it. I'm not sure if I used that on this card. And then I'm going to simply take some multi matte medium, use my tweezers again because these are pretty teeny tiny. And I'm going to position these throughout my card. So here's the first one adorning the snowman hat. And then we're going to hang some of, the, or adhere some of them on the hanging ornaments. Almost like they're adorning the hanging ornaments. And I'll do that here on a couple of the images. And you can see where some tweezers or a quick stick tool or a jewel picker, something that can position your little elements like this comes in super handy. Just add a couple more here. Such fun little images. I just love this stamp set. I think it's super fun. For my background, I die cut the landscape snowfall backdrop. There's also a portrait one, and I'm going to ink this with shaded lilac distress ink. I've also die cut a border using the stitch till side border that I'm going to put along the bottom edge. And we're going to adhere this to a white side fold card base. So I want this to really resemble our double slider surprise that was inked with blueprint sketch, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I love how blueprint sketch and shaded lilac go together. 
let's clean off our work surface really quick so we don't get ink on our the back of our card. We're going to adhere this to our card base and then we're going to be adding a little Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard to the snow so that the background has a little bit of sparkle as well. So instead of layering a piece of sparkle cardstock back behind this, which you could do very easily if you wanted to, I'm instead going to fill in some of those little holes with Nouveau Crystal Drops instead. So the double slider surprise is going to cover up a good area. So I only need to add the sparkle to kind of the top and the sides, if that makes sense. So I'm only going to just go in and add little drops, but not worry about the center of the card since that's going to be covered up. I just want to make sure that there's a nice sparkly snowy background here. This is also a new die from the fall and winter 2018 release for Lawn Fawn. And another example of how everything in the Lawn Fawn uh, collection works so well together. In real life, this is so super sparkly and looks great. Gives that nice illusion of falling snow, sparkly falling snow anyway and adds a little interest to the background. Where there's so much going on with our double slider surprise, I tend to like to keep my slider cards, the, the rest of the card, fairly simple just because there's so much going on. And this is a great way to add a little bit of interest but to still keep it fairly clean and simple. So everything is completely dry now it, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with some nice strong adhesive right there in the center. Look how cute that is. Centered on our snowy backdrop. And then you simply pull out the two sides. Look how easy that works. It extends the scene and it's so super fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this interactive double slider surprise card featuring the Lawn Fawn and Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber Nutty or Nice stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring Lawn Fawn that you might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.